Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to evaluate the derivative of this function 1 over x minus square root of sine of x at x equals pi over 2. So for finding the derivative of this function, we're going to use what is called the chain rule you see down here. And the derivative of f of x is the derivative of its function 1 over x minus square root of sine of x. And you notice here we have a, a difference, so we can break this in a difference of derivative. And also 1 over x is x to the negative 1 power, I think it's better to use it this way, minus the derivative with respect of x of and here also, I'll suggest you to take a look to this square root as an exponent, exponent of one half. So now let's see what we get. For the first one, we're going to use, like I said, the power rule, which says negative one, right? That power of negative one move up from x to the power of negative one minus one or negative two. And that's it. Minus, now we're going to move to the second one, this one. Similar, we're going to use the power rule, 1 over 2, and then we're going to have sine of x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1. Now, this is the power rule for the exponential function, for the function invo involving a power, in fact. Um, but then by the chain rule, we're going to have the derivative with respect of x of the sine of x, which is cosine of x, but let's write like this. So let's do some simplification here. So we have here negative 1 over x squared minus, and let's take a look to the last part where we have 1 over 2, and we have square root of sine of x here. Uh, why? Because this is going to be negative 1 half, and that power of negative 2, we can change in a positive power, but don't forget to move down the expression. And that's the reason I have uh, this uh, square root of sine of x times, and then the derivative of sine of x, like I said before, it's cosine of x. I think we can do one more simplification or rearrange a little bit, and we have negative 1 over x squared minus cosine of x over 2 square root of sine of x. And now we're going to replace x with pi over 2. And we have negative 1 over pi over 2 square minus cosine of pi over 2 over 2 square root of sine of pi over 2. So let's see what we can do here. And uh, by the way, this is f prime of pi over 2. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, pi over 2 squared, that is pi squared over 4. And we're going to have to flip it. And that will be negative 4 over pi squared minus cosine of pi over 2, cosine of pi over 2, will be nothing else than 0 over 2 times square root of sine of pi over 2 will be 1. But all this last part is nothing else than 0, so the final answer for our problem is negative 4 over pi square. Remember that this means nothing other than slope of the tangent line at pi over 2. You see this is the tangent line, the slope of this tangent line is negative 4 over pi square. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C square for more help. Thank you.